Hello and welcome to Gen 4 at Auto Club. We are doing a Monday race here today, but it's not the new week yet. It's actually the tail end of the previous week. Um, we are check. watching this. Um, we are the number one, unfortunately. A little bit of a lower strength of field here. 2.2k according to Race Lab. Uh, but I wanted to do this combo for sure. Um, rounding out of time uh, before the week switch is over and uh, this is a really fun combo so really like Auto Club and of course really enjoy the Gen 4 car but I didn't want to miss out so that's what brought me here let's see uh, what we can do for Q get loose on the apron that's what I can do but a uh, little bit of a hotter racetrack than the practice I was in because the sun's still out for the practice I was in, but it was night, so I'm expecting a little less grip than I, what I got used to, so probably going to be easier on the throttle here. Green flag, green flag. Okay. Expecting it to want to break more loose. Definitely going to be high side, I think, is where I want to be. Maybe a little bit uh, easier through there because I'm just really worried about hitting the wall. Which I, of course, do not want to do and invalidate my lap, so. Um, that looks okay, though. We're getting a little bit of green on the exit of four. And that'll bring us into the sixes, which is pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. Let's push a little bit farther this time. Uh, got major loose right there. That sucks. That really killed my exit. Oh man, look at that time bleed. I hate that. That was feeling like a pretty good corner too. Kind of just using a very slight drag of the brakes on entry. Get it slowed down so that way I don't head toward the wall. But first lap's going to be better just because I totally ruined the exit of two. We'll see how it holds up right now. 39.617 is what we got. Next guy's two tenths back, but we could have guys still uh, putting laps in. Who knows? With the uh, sun setting here, track getting cooler, you could guys ha uh, have guys waiting to the last second as uh, the track temp presumably goes down. Maybe they can hit faster laps if they wait a little longer. I've heard of people doing that. I just go. I don't. <laughs> I don't care about any of that, I just go. I'm too eager. When it's time to uh, do my laps, I just click the button right away. <laughs> but, see the two got very close to us, about half a tenth back. But I believe that was the second lap, so he will still remain in P2. We'll do a practice pit in right here which hopefully we'll need. Big wide track here at Auto Club, but a place that also sometimes demands slide jobs to pass, which obviously can create crashes. So, ooh, you sped it. I think that was probably speeding. I can't tell because the qualifying scrutiny thing yells at me every time I try to do a practice pit in. But that was probably speeding. Probably want to ease it in a little bit more. But I did it successfully a number of times. I was just trying to push it a little farther that time. Um, so we should be okay to make it in the race, I hope. Who do we have left to go? The three. Oh, man. That is, uh, that is some internet that guy's got going. That's probably him about to drop out, actually, with that quality dropping. Hopefully he can get back in time for the race. That stinks. Nobody wants to see internet issues affect guys, but yeah, he is about to drop out. But we've got uh, 
12 to 1, negative 15, and 60% with the break bias. We get the pole. Nice. The two, really the only guy that got too close. There goes that guy. That sucks. Um, we're going to go ahead and do end car and brake bias all the way back. Just to get as much turn as we can. It is incorrect. The real strength of the field is 2.2k. Again, according to Race Lab. So, iRacing's uh, estimates get in the ballpark, but Race Lab is usually pretty exact. We'll go ahead and unmute that. I usually forget, to be honest. <laughs> but, uh, man, well, that guy's got a cool name. Seamus Power. That's a cool name. <laughs> Pretty sure I've been to a college that has Jackson Hall <laughs> as the number 15. He has a great, he had a great uh, qualifying run. So good luck to him. A couple names I recognize, but uh, guys I don't race against too often because uh, I don't often race around this time. Just a couple names that I feel like I've seen before is all. Oh, is that guy going to get back in time? The faster loading times maybe might help him out here. Actually quite nice how fast you could get into servers now. Race servers. They've really optimized the loading time, which is very cool. I'm seeing if that guy's going to be able to make it in the session or not. I'm rooting for him. He starts P9. You have two additional sets of oh no. I don't think he made it. No, oh, there he is. He did it. Just in time. Good luck, boys. Some drama while gritting here. Put this back where it belongs. Stay behind the pace car. And we'll find out what gear we want to start in. Probably... One to go. Next time by, line up on the inside. Probably not fourth, road, to be clear. Right Probably second gear. But uh, I noticed we have 31.2 estimated laps of fuel. So uh, gonna definitely want to make it to that halfway point. So I'm not gonna play games here and uh, try to save some fuel on this outlap. So that's actually pretty darn close. Which means we basically have to go full tank. I mean, you think, like, if this goes green all the way and then we get a... No, that doesn't make sense. Never mind. <laughs> I was about to say something that didn't make sense. But... Save the fuel while we can, for sure. We'll get a nice jump from P1. Ready, going green. Hopefully, have ourselves a good race. All right, Colton, the pace car is in. Green, 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 green. A little late on the shift there. We're fine though. That's making a bunch of noise in the background. I'm sorry. He's running around and knocking things off of things. <laughs> I swear he gets the most distracting when I start recording. Starts using the litter box and making a big mess everywhere. Good start. So we're going to run the bottom, of course, to save tire. I think that's definitely where we're going to want to be. guy behind ends up wanting to go by, that's fine. I really try to take care of this thing and try not to slide as much as possible, because it really does want to slide on exit, especially taking this lower line.
almost drifted too far up that time. I'm trying to keep my wheels straight. And, uh, <laughs> almost went straight into the wall. It's not optimal. That's the new call that the spotter has would say. This is suboptimal. Smashing into the wall. The line is so funny. Hopefully we, won't have to, we don't have to hear it. Because that means that things are sub suboptimal. I heard him call it whenever like, you wrecked or something, or if you're not running very well. So far so good though, we've got ourselves a pretty decent gap already to third. P2 is holding on pretty decently well. You're in the lead. Just really trying not to slide the tires in any way. It says fuel window opens lap 28. I think that's even a little generous. Like, you'd have to save a little bit, I think, if you came in lap 28. That's how close it is on fuel. That pink car behind us following pretty close. Not going to worry about him too much, though. Just going to run by line, uh, execute the plan, saving tires and being smooth. Hopefully it'll uh, work out well for us. All right, through five here at Auto Club. Pretty bummed that uh, they're apparently tearing this place down, turning it into a short track. More short tracks, uh, not a terrible idea. They're fun, but it stinks that they have to sacrifice Auto Club for it, especially when there's so many short tracks out there already. Kind of just wish that they could like invest in maybe uh, one of the short tracks that already exist and prop it up to uh, cup series levels or something because you just oh my god uh, you just don't have to uh, what's I saying uh, oh you just don't see like new huge tracks like this pop up pretty much ever so losing one kind of sucks but of course it'll always be here on iRacing so that's nice Sun going down here in sim. Gonna be night by the time we're done here. Lights are already on. Oh my gosh, I'm sliding. That is what I didn't want to do. I got caught on that seam. I started sending my car sideways. It's exactly what I'm trying not to do. A little less throttle, I guess, if I'm going to get near the seam like that. So far, so clean. It would be really cool to get some green flag pit stops. Let's see if we make it that far. That two car just holding on back there. We're probably both worried about saving Ty right now. I don't think he's like pushing super hard or anything. Taking a smart approach for a long run pace. And even uh, even given that, we're we've got that big gap to third, so that's comforting. <laughs> Feels good. Should be able to get a nice finish here today, I think. If all goes well, and we don't end up with some poorly timed cautions, or end up in a caution, or anything. So, fuel's looking better now, based on the current numbers we have. So, the initial estimate might have been a little pessimistic, 
on how much the mileage we get out of our uh, tank. Looking like we'd get a, a decent bit past lap 30 now, probably 32, 33 or better. Ooh, okay. Overdrove that a little bit. Didn't stick to the bottom. That was a bad corner. That was not good at all. I overdrove that. Two so gonna gain some time on us there, probably. Make sure we're backing it down. As much as I like Auto Club, I'm not always the greatest here. Especially with saving tire. I'm not too great at saving tire here, to be uh, completely honest. So, could be a case where the two ends up just having the better long run speed, despite the fact I'm really trying to hold it together. bit better. I think we pay it probably about lap 32. Probably about right. the sun go down here in California. So far a nice drive. Fun to drive this car pretty much anywhere. And uh, can't relax either because I got the guy behind us. Making sure that we are mistake free. Got a little tight there. Now I'm getting loose on exit. I'm not driving very well. I'm not driving very well at all. I think I gotta be easier on the throttle. Use less mid-corner, so that way I don't push up mid-corner as much. Seam, man. That was horrible. I think him getting on my rear end, too, got my car unsettled. I'm just gonna let him go. I don't want to fight him right now. It's too early in the race for that. I need to get my uh, act together, first and foremost. So I'm not being as smooth as I need to be. It's driving in harder, I notice. Maybe it's a deal where you want to, uh... You're actually going to be on the right rear in this race. I don't know. I haven't actually watched anybody run this this week yet, so... Kind of figuring it out as I go. got to be more gentle on the throttle before I cross that seam so that way I'm not pitching it too far sideways while making my way through the corner he's definitely done a better job though so far Time was at 41.4. I doesn't feel terrible or anything. I just uh, have to hit my marks a little bit better. Let's 
Still a huge gap to third, so that's very nice. Good practice for the upcoming Diet Dr. Pepper series race. It's not going to be here, but it's going to be at Michigan, the other two-mile track. So, going to be plenty of differences there, but a lot more similarities than some other places we would visit. Maybe I can take this, uh, what I'm learning here about crossing seams and stuff, and... <laughs> Try to keep that in mind for whenever we head to Michigan. Seems really messing with this car. Oh, he's going up high. Interesting. So he's going for speed all of a sudden. He's decided we're close enough to pit stop time that he can use the rest of his tires. I'm going to wait a little bit longer. But I probably will head up there where it's fastest. Before we head in to the pits, just to get the most out of what the tires are going to give us. P2. It's like he's just doing it in one and two. I get the impression he knows what he's doing. He might, he's might have uh, done this combo a couple times this week. The decision for him to be like, yep, one and two, I'm going to go high side, but then three and four, I'm going to go low. Tells me he knows something and has some knowledge about how this works this week. He knows what's, what works and what doesn't, perhaps. Uh, so that's a, a challenge, of course, going against guys that have the experience all week. Except I can learn from that, though. You think it was maybe a little bit early to go up high, though? Another ten laps before we pit is a long ten laps on a two-mile track. He seems like he's just fine. He's still pulling away just a little bit at a time. Do we still want to come in at lap 32? Because we uh, do seem to be a little worse off long run pace. Especially when I miss 3 and 4. I keep missing 3 and 4. Something about 3 and 4 is the car's tighter over there than 1 and 2. It's causing me to overdrive a couple times. Still caution free, we're almost there to the green flag pit stops. The gap two, gone out. Ahead is now 0.8. That's what I need to be doing here. Stay lower for longer. Even that though felt like I pushed a little bit. I don't know if we've got some wind or something, making three and four a little bit tougher on us. For what that would be. It's definitely tighter in three and four. Well, it's interesting how seemingly congruent tracks have such different handling char characteristics when you're actually out here. Whether it's because the wind is 14 miles an hour 
pushing on your car, making it hard to turn, or, you know, it's just the nature of the track because there's some bumps over on one end that don't exist on the other end, maybe. As a car exits in the pits, heads up. That guy has come in too early. There's no way he's making it to the end on fuel. Having pit on lap 23. I have to assume that, uh, didn't just make a miscalculation. He had to come in for something else. Something happened to him. We've got about nine laps left. So I think the longest we would uh, be able to stretch it is if we came in on lap 26 or something. Maybe this lap if you saved. But I don't. I wouldn't want to have to do that because that would just make you slower. We're definitely at least staying out to lap 31. We'll see what the guy ahead of us does, too. He comes in for a little bit of an undercut. I'll probably do 31. But if he's still out, I'll probably... Hmm. If he's still out, maybe I do the undercut. I don't know. Yeah, he's pulling away pretty good now. I think this lap I probably uh, push a little harder. This next lap... See if I can uh, use the rest of the tire up. He's coming by us. Should be able to clear just fine. Going to do high side. Ooh, not much turn up here. Wow, okay. That wasn't actually very fast at all, now was it? i got to back it down more than that if I'm going to run up here. Right front's not too happy. That was, that was better. This was definitely faster through uh, Sector 2, this lap. See, that was much faster. Two just did a much better job of saving. Last lap was at That's good consistency. Keep it up. You got about five laps of fuel. It's about a second ahead now. Still got a good gap behind us at least. Whatever you said, couldn't hear ya. I want to go to lap 31 at least, so that way uh, people that pit at exactly halfway can crash on entry if they want to and bring out the yellow without hurting me. Well, the guy head pit at exactly halfway. Right in front is not happy. I really tried to. I really tried to save that right front. Like I said, I just never been too great at saving tires here at Auto Pro. Alright, I guess we're gonna pit in right here. Hmm. Sure. We'll do that. We'll do that.
Craig's coming in too. Oh, we're much faster on entry. We gained a ton. Alright, stay green though. Race has got to say green. I wasn't going to stop in time. 55-62. Okay. Let's see how much we gained on him. It felt like a lot. Go, go, go! Some tires a bit there, but okay. The the oh my god, you got to be kidding me. Right That's what I tried to avoid. Why you gotta do this to me, guys? Where are we gonna be now? Oh, we're on the lead lap. Okay. Might be okay, for the most part. See, the pace car's behind us. Still some guys on pit road. I think maybe everybody pit. Four car gets out in front of us. Tires are still brand new, so we don't have to worry about that. Get the four, go. Get the two, go. What happened? I have to assume there was some uh, pit entry issues based on that timing. The leader, Rojas, is pitting. So we're good to the end on fuel. Tires are just fine. A couple guys in front of us. Hey, we you disappear, bud. Looks like we'll start third. I'm back now, right? Oh yeah, I'd say he now. Really worked out for the number four. Yeah. Spotty internet. Even hooked up. I will definitely shit in a box of my internet provider service. So we're going to have to find out how to be f better long run this time. It's not going to be as long of a run. You know what? I don't think I'm going to be able to save as well as the two. I think if I just do, I try to save this next run, I think it's just going to look exactly the same and the two's going to pass me late. So rather than just do the same thing and ex expect a different result, maybe we just go hard, harder this run. Try to get a gap and see if we can hold on to it. It should be hard to pass late run if I can hold the outside line. So, maybe I can just hold on to it late, and that, on top of the fact, this is going to be a shorter run this time. So, I think we try One left to, green. Line up to on kill the, the tires. <laughs> I think we just go for it a little bit. Not without reason, of course. I'm not going to run the top the whole time or anything, but I'm going to push harder running that lower line. And we'll see where that takes us. I don't know, maybe it's maybe that's a dumb idea, but I think we're pretty good on top two if that first run is to judge by. We were we were good by a couple seconds. Of course that'll be reset now, but we were looking okay. I don't know, I just want to try something different this time rather than just do the same thing, so. We'll see. We'll see how it works. 
it'll be 25 to go once we get across the line. And you never know, maybe we'll get some cautions or something too. Take that extra set of tires and have that track position. I think pushing a little harder this time is probably the way to go. Or at least that's what I'm going with, so. We'll see, we'll see how it works. That's the plan. I like the M&M's car behind us, the Kenny Schrader-esque. Oh, not come on, who's still in the green? Hang on, we're not going green, not going green. 15 ran out of talent. That's what we get for taking the hose during caution, boys. Don't do that. Running out of talent on the pace laps? <laughs> Under yellow? Weird. Sounds like he was texting and driving. But she said it was creepy. Don't do that. Don't text and drive. One to go. Next time by. All right, well. She told me it was razor. Twenty-four to go. Even more reason to push harder sooner. She lied. Hmm. Maybe we run top to one and two, bottom three and four the whole time. We'll see. I'm gonna see how the gap is looking. Decide what I do from there. But I want to try to get a gap. First things first, though, we gotta get up there. Nah, it just corrected it. I think when the 15 went down, it stopped it, kind of twisted it up. All right. I didn't pull it inside. Oh, is it because we were all wave around? That might be it. Yeah, it could be. Can we go this time? I think we're going this time for real. About to go green. Stay focused. Let's do it. Off. Wow, he got that close. Got those new tires. How are we gonna do this? Outside. Low, around the sky. Pushing a little harder too, I think. Do we try to go around his outside here? I think so. Car is much tighter. Track temperature has really cooled down. And take that line all that well because of it. Try this again. That lap time was yeah, that was better, I think.
Ah, uh, he's defending, okay. I see how this is gonna work. I'm gonna do a cut down. Get a better run off than he will. Get to his outside. Outside is clear. Car outside. Go low. Go low. Oh boy. He's had the same idea I did. He's pushing hard now. Harder, at least. Came to the same conclusion. I don't know how that affects what I want to do here. He runs bottom. Especially if he's going to be running top. That doesn't even seem all that much faster, to be honest, at this point in the race. There's a lot of grip down low. I don't know why I'm running middle, I just did it without thinking. You've just done a 40.4. Trying to be really careful because I can't see him very well when I'm coming off the corner. Well, that sucked. I did the same thing you did. You hit the wall in the middle of the corner? No, I almost friggin' I friggin' almost spun off four. That's like my Achilles heel right there. He's running the bottom. He's running high. Maybe he's going to hurt his tires this time. I feel like the bottom line is not much worse right now. I mean, we're coming up right on him on exit. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Tokyo Drift for a minute. I heard that. Dragon 4 is still giving me so much trouble. That was uh, 40.7. Could you use one of those baby cars right about now? Well, we just went green, we don't need a pace car. <laughs> is that what he said? Car outside. Clear. How this feels. Maybe not so great. Know what I'm gonna need to do here. We're pretty much matching each other, but he's got the track position right now. 14 to go. Bottom is, I really think, working much better in 1 and 2. He keeps going up high, but I'm, I'm liking how it's feeling down here. Got loose there. I don't know. I think he's got it. I just I can't figure it out. It's 
It's going to be so hard to pass him. He's running that high line. Oh my god, if I run up here. Oh my god, I got a loose race car. And it just snapped on exit. Got eleven to go. Yeah, bottom is working so much better for me, I think. At least in one and two. Nothing's working for me in three and four. I just cannot figure out. Now he's uh, running that line without getting super tight or even super loose like I just I cannot get the handling right in three and four Great job. To go. Was that and to go Try this again, I guess. Just no grip, though. It's nothing. Nothing there. Get a big run, though. Okay, Colton. Cup time's pretty consistent. Or at least we could pressure him. I can think, I guess. Eight to go. Got to his inside that time. But he gets that huge run, of course. <laughs> Dance time on us again. Three and four. He's just perpetually that two tenths, three tenths up on us. Oh. Uh, man, I almost had another, I almost had a decent corner that time, and I just got loose on exit. I might have found something out, though. I'm going to try it again next time. That was not good right there. Missed the line in one and two. I'm falling apart. At just the worst time. Oh. 
Just awful. Five laps to go. Podium is looking good. Podium is looking good, at least. Gotta appreciate that. Still on track for a very good finish. Just so close. Tried something different there. That worked pretty well, I think. Drove it in harder. It's not enough time, and I don't think... Uh, I think he's probably better off right now than I am. Just so loose on exit. Try Highline because we got to try something. Nothing happening. Okay, maybe something there. I mean, I just, I keep going back and forth. On how I feel about all these different things. Coming to the white flag, not close enough. Let's see if we can get anything, but white flag. One not likely. Okay, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. Your lap time was 41.9. Cup time's pretty Driving consistent. in really deep. <laughs> Barely in control of the darn car. Give it all I got. Nothing. Oh. Slide through the corner. Whew. Good race. Good win. Thank you. Couldn't figure it out. He definitely yeah, earned it. Decent drive. Check it flag. Check it flag. Good race. He uh, uh, knew. He he, well. he knew my plan. That last run too. He knew it was gonna be get the track position because it's gonna be much easier to keep it. Once you're there, they have to take it away. And I think he, he just had a better feel for it anyway. Where to run and Good race, guys. how exactly, how hard to push. So he was in control of this one, I think, for sure. That was going to be bad. 65. Oh. Okay. Interesting. 65, 66. That's actually better than I thought. I thought I was going to be destroying the right front. But I guess uh, pushing harder. Getting on that right rear actually uh, evened it out a bit. Interesting. Probably just killed both front and rear, but is what it is. So we'll get P2. Not bad at all. Can't feel too bad about that. Number two gets the win. Well earned, and we'll see what happened out here, including our one caution. See exactly how that happened. I don't think we ever heard an explanation of 
what went down. I think the people involved left pretty quickly after. So the five's getting the wall in lap two. Then we jump to lap 12 for another wall hit. Pretty good one right there. Moving ahead as the 18 gets the wall a little bit more. 13's driving in too hard. He's going to get the wall. 15. He was involved in something later under caution, but that is not what that is. Moving past some more. The are still here. That was a lot of fun we had in the middle going side by side. Some more wall hits that we'll skip past. Moving right along. Getting closer to pit stop time. Ten very loose. Ooh, impacts the wall really good. I think we got some tires wearing out, maybe why we're seeing some non-incidents. Something happened to the eight. Could this be... Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. Really poor attempt at pit entry right there, I think. So, the eight is planning to come in to pit. But he's in the second lane. So, we, I mean, can't really expect it if he's not going to say anything. And then he's just way off pace. And then the 15 starts going high, but then the eight starts abandoning it. I guess because he sees the guy coming low, and so he's just not being predictable. And so he turns back right again when he should have just kept course because the 15 was going to go right on this outside. So Jeff, G <laughs> Jeff Gordon's indecision here causes the wreck. And a pretty big one, too. We got multiple guys caught in it. And that's very unfortunate. Pit entry mistake, as I, uh, I predicted might be the case. Got a little bit of a, a Quinn half hitting from the second lane oh okay so that's what happened with the 15 to delay the green that so he's like texting and driving <laughs> as he said and uh, just clips the apron while not paying enough attention I guess and uh, spins it this thing's easy to spin so you do have to be careful even under yellow I guess especially if we're gonna get near that apron so moving ahead, we're already to lap 47. Starting to get some more wall hits. Oh, the 16 was not clear. But uh, decided that he was. Yeah, just uh, pushes up real far. And it looked like they were going to be good for a second, but... Just get, barely gets the, the corner there. And it doesn't bring out a caution. Six barely sneaks by. But everybody heads uh, the right direction, so. All was well. And uh, coming up to the end of this thing, we've got about five, six laps to go. We've got a blink there. A wall hit here. And probably nothing uh, too big. Before the end of this thing if I had to guess maybe just a couple more wall hits as guys uh, are running on the last bit of their tires and yeah there it is so the 14 may be angry at the 16 there for something so it looked like and then the six just goofing around as the two does his well-deserved burnouts great race to him in his Volkswagen <laughs> so uh, good job to him we will get p2 as the number one. Happy with the run though. I feel like uh, I could have done better. But I feel like I did a solid job. And he just did better. So race results coming up now. We'll see all the official numbers. 22, 47 strength of field. Uh, we get the fastest lap. So maybe I was just pushing a little bit too hard. Not sure. Because that was on lap three as well. So maybe that first run I was just uh, driving a little bit too hard, maybe on entry. We'll get 18i rating as a uh, P2 and 128 championship points. You can see this is the rest of your field. Bit of a smaller one with 18 cars total. I think it split just once. It did. And uh, that will do it. Thank you for watching. That was some Gen 4 at Auto Club. Getting ready to do some racing tonight as the new week switches over. So uh, I hope to see you there for that.
for now, I will say goodbye. Have a good one. Thank you for watching.